Hello and welcome YouTubers. Today we're going to go over a few of the Hubson transmitter bindings. Uh, we've got the H50 series here, uh, H501 series, H502 series, and um, some of the more common transmitters for them. We're going to see what can bind to what. Um, let's briefly go over some of these. This is the Hubson H501S aircraft. This is the Hubson H501C aircraft. And you can see they're very similar. And then now we have the H502 series, which is uh, this one here is the H502S. And this one here is the H502E. And they are also virtually identical these two, the, the S the S version, 502S, 501S, have FPV. Now this is the advanced transmitter. You can even use this with the Hubson H109 professional drone. We've got their classic transmitter here. And we've got the smaller basic transmitter here. So we're going to see if all of these can bind to the advanced controller, see if all of them can bind to the classic traditional uh, square controller, and if all of them combine to the simple game style transmitter. Now the traditional way of binding a Hubson or the, some of these uh, common Hubsons is actually just by having the photo button pressed as you turn on the transmitter and that usually starts the binding sequence and uh, and of course you have to turn on the quadcopter as you do this so we're gonna try that with some of these and see what happens now this is the advanced version so obviously uh, this will be able to bind with this controller uh, let's try it out so I just push the camera button and then turn on the unit and bind to plane and let's do that here and sure enough it bound to the plane see okay now let's try uh, binding this one to the C Let's try Once again, hold the photo button, turn on the bind to plane, let's plug this in, and sure enough it did it, instant binding. This is the C, bound perfectly. Alright, now let's see if this can bind to the other two. All right, same process. Push the photo button, turn on the transmitter, bind to plane, and now let's plug, do this plug-in. And it bound. So this one bound very well. And now let's do the, the E version. Let's try that. Here we go, push the picture button, turn it on, need to bind, let's connect this guy to the, together, let's see if it binds, come on, there we go, look at that, all bound. Now obviously uh, this model, the 502E and the 501C will not have any display, any video display on here because they do not have an FPV, um, you know, uh, transmitter. They don't transmit the uh, video transmission to this. So uh, only the 501S and the 502E, sorry, the 502S gets confusing after a while. Uh, we'll have a video display here, but you can have full operational control of all these aircraft if you bind them with the classic controller. So that's good. 
So this is definitely um, Hubson's classic mainstream uh, popular traditional controller that could bind to just about all their aircraft so uh, that makes this very handy so if you've got one of an extra one of these uh, lying around hold on to it because uh, you can use it with all your aircraft you, you know you can in a sense upgrade let's say a 502 e or a 501 C by binding to this because it will provide you follow me functions since this has a GPS in it. Now this is the Hubson Advanced Transmitter and this one doesn't uh, uses generic buttons for uh, photo and video. If I remember, I think the photo is enter. So to put it in binding, we just hit enter and then turn it on. And let's see. Bind to plane. So first we'll start with this one here, the H501S. Let's see if this one binds. And it did. Binds. So, yes. The H501S uh, obviously bound to the advanced transmitter. Let's try the C. That would be interesting. Let's try it here. We push the photo or enter button. Turn it on. Keep it pressed. System initialize, bind the plane. Now let's take the C and connect it. And sure enough, it bound. Everything is perfect. Calibration shows all the uh, stats and everything's all set. Let's see if we can use the advanced on some of these little guys here. Let's start with the H502S. Here we go, same procedure, enter, on. Yep, and then let's get this guy connected. Here we go, let's see if it binds. Look at that. H502S, and the video is coming out right there on the screen from, from this guy. So you can fly the H502S with the advanced transmitter and i'm guessing that's going to give you uh, it's going to give you a tremendous amount of range and the fpv will last for a good range because you've got these uh, powerful antennas here so yeah if you want to have fun with the c version i'm sorry the h502s version uh you could uh do all the fancy features and um long distances using the advanced transmitter now i'm wondering if we could do the same for the 502 e so let's try to bind it here we go okay so here we go push the photo or enter turn on get ready to bind all right let's take the 502 e and let's connect it all right did it let's see if it binds Will it bind? Look at that. All the stats on there. And everything's all set here, ready to calibrate. So, excellent. Okay, so, so far, we've tried all the combinations with these two main transmitters, and all the aircraft seem to bind perfectly with them. And I've tried them. Um, off camera and yes not only do they bind but they fly perfectly so I've tried that as well so now the last one is the little guy here the gamepad and we're gonna see if I can do uh, H501S with the little gamepad uh, and all the others so let's try it okay now with this transmitter uh, just like the other transmitters uh, and their protocol their Hubson protocol of binding uh, we are going to use the camera or yeah the picture or video button in this case they're combined into one uh, you switch between them whether if you do a short or long press short press is a photo long press is a video but in any case we keep this button press and turn on the transmitter to get the binding um, the binding uh, sequence started 
and see if it'll bind to this guy. So here we go, keep this pressed, turn it on, that means to bind. And now let's try to do it on this guy here. Let's try to bind them. All right, we did it, let's see. Turn them on. And sure enough, calibrate compass and it's all ready to go. So yep, you can fly your H501S with this small gamepad controller. Now, why would you want to do that? Maybe, maybe it's not necessary because you're in a sense downgrading the power of this. This has FPV and long range and uh, if using it with this pad doesn't make too much sense, but you never know. Maybe you want a smaller, more comfortable game pad and you just want to you know, fly it nearby, not a long range or not have any FPV. Maybe do some nearby sh photo shooting or video shoots. So yeah, I guess you could bind them, but now you know you can. So now let's continue on. Let's see if we could do it with the C, which I believe there shouldn't be a problem because the C version already comes with this uh, controller as well as the 502E. But let's see if the 501 502s will bind to this so let's try it so next let's try the c let's go in order so keep uh photo button pressed turn it on this controller doesn't say the word binding or anything it just has an h there but that means that indicates that it's trying to bind so let's bind this together all right let's see connected them you only try nutella Yep. Yeah, but you did not try. And there we go. Compass calibration, perfect. And this is exactly what we would expect with the 501C. So now let's go on to the S, uh, 502S. Let's see, that would be interesting to see if you can use this one and bind it. So let's try that. Here we go. Photo, on, give me that H. Let's connect these wires together. And there we go, they're connected. Will it bind? Let's see, it's good to keep the transmitter close to the aircraft when you're binding so that it uh, has a good linkage with the aircraft. And sure enough, compass calibration. As you can see, the lights are flashing in a uh, circular formation to com uh, compass calibrate. And that binded just perf or bound just perfectly. Now let's try the final one. The 502E photo button. Turn it on. I see the H. Now let's connect the 502E in here. All right, so here we go. We got them connected. 502E, I expect no problems with this binding. And sure enough, we have connection. Everything is perfect. So that worked out pretty well. So we've completed our Hubson uh, controller transmitter bindings. And uh, as you can see, every transmitter binds with every aircraft perfectly. And um, as I said earlier, I've tested this off camera to see if they actually do fly once bound. And each aircraft flies perfectly with each transmitter it's bound to. I can say that if you have a very, an older version of these aircrafts, they're gonna bind successfully. They, they may not uh, due to the firmware, but uh, if you're up to date and you have the current versions of these aircrafts, uh, you shouldn't have any problems interbinding the transmitters. So uh, I hope you found this informative.